What are some small things that you silently judge people on? Not cleaning up after themselves. Edit. Thanks to the seriously kind dude who popped my gold cherry. Edit 2. Thanks to the quite kind anonymous person who popped my silver cherry. Edit 3. Holy it thanks for popping my platinum cherry whoever you are. It's been a big day. People who walk around retail shops completely unaware of their surroundings. Maybe walking very slowly three abreast down an aisle. Leaving a cart in the middle of an aisle. Walking right out in front of me without looking making me skid to a stop. I imagine these people are your quintessential bad drivers. If people can admit it when they're wrong. It baffles me how many people I've met that are so afraid of saying yeah I guess I messed up on that. I'm going to interpret small as petty. The count and content of the stickers on your car. Edit. Post what you have and I'll judge you. All judgments provided for a laugh. I'm sure you're all lovely folks. People who just leave their cards in the parking lot instead of walking the 4 feet to the designated area to put it back so it doesn't go slamming into someone's car. Lack of awareness. Whether that be how the things they do impact others around them. Littering. Revving their engine late at night. Act. Or just being unaware of their surroundings. Had a guy looking at his phone walk out right in front of my car from nowhere. I stopped suddenly to keep from hitting him. He looked at me with no expression and went on walking through the busy parking lot while looking at his phone again. Anyone that consistently cuts you off mid-sentence. Edit. Thank you for the silver mysterious stranger colon. Edit 2. Thank you for the platinum whoever you are. I like to think that you jammed it into my mouth before I was done commenting colon. Edit 3. Gold 2. You're too kind colon. Not using their turn signals. To me. It says they don't care that much about being courteous and predictable to other drivers. So I wonder how much it extends into other areas of their life. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Kind redditors. And thanks for all the tips warning me to never travel anywhere in the world. How they treat their friends. I have no respect for people who are nice to people's faces and then crawl behind their backs. Their ability to listen. Talking on speakerphone in a public place. I didn't ask to hear about your cousin's ingrown toenail. If they have to one up everything. I hate that. Whether or not their windshield wiper speed is appropriate for the current precipitation. Edit. My first gold and silver. Thanks strangers. And holy cow. 10,000 people thought this was interesting enough to tap the arrow. Thanks to each and every one one of you. How they leave a table when at a restaurant. Edit. Be kind to your waitress waiter host etc. It's easy and the right thing to do. When people chew with their mouth open. Oh my god disgusting. How much they openly judge people. We all judge. But come on. Let's be tactful and mature about it. Their smell. Not saying thank you acknowledging servers at restaurants. I have sales reps take me out to dinners and lunches a lot and if they don't say thank you or acknowledge the servers or staff. I won't spend a dime with them again. Drives me insane haha. <laughs> Edit. Thanks for my first gold stranger. To clarify. It's not like I'm just staring at the person waiting to see if they will thank the wait staff haha. <laughs> It's more of when you can just tell they are not doing it because they feel they're superior or something. They turn on their indicators as they're making a turn. Yo, you ducking fart for brain. You're only indicating that you have no idea how to ducking indicate. How loud they are. Some people are incredibly loud without trying. What they name their babies. If they don't say please thank you you're welcome thanks. I assume they were raised in a barn. There are no conditions. I just harshly judge everyone. When they don't care that their kids are running amok in a restaurant. If your kid is overweight, I judge you. Misspelling people's names when they had the opportunity to check. Egg an email the person's name is right there. It shows carelessness. Not giving the thanks wave when I'll let you cut in. In traffic. Cops not following the laws of the road. Speeding. No blinkers. Cutting people off. Riding your ass. Etc. You're supposed to ticket the people that do that it. Not do that it. 
Your weak ass floppy fish handshake. Their lock screens. If it's a selfie, my view of them goes negative. If someone gives their child an iPad in a public place with the volume turned all the way up, I immediately hate them. How much they drown others out when talking. Yes, I'm referring to you. Danny in accounting who never lets anyone get a word in. Bragging about who they slept with. Lack of awareness to their surroundings. People who ride my bumper when I'm already going 15 over. Like what more do you want me to do? Pass me illegally if I'm that much of an impediment to your progress. Edit. Yes I get over on the highway so they can pass me. I'm not talking about that. I've had this happen to me a few times just the past week when I only had one lane to work with. Which is what I was thinking of. One of the guys actually pulled into the oncoming 10 only lanes to pass me illegally. I'm sorry. I'm not stopping or pulling onto the shoulder or turning before my turn so some impatient asshole can get around me especially if I'm already going over the limit. Slow down and enjoy the scenery. When you are welcomed to hang out with people you've never met and the person who welcomes you doesn't introduce you to the rest. I understand we are capable of introducing ourselves but I find myself judging people who do that. How they treat wait staff. If you're a D to someone just trying their best to do their job and literally wait on you. Then you've got some major issues to work out, buddy. People that say things like 2am in the morning. I know it doesn't bother a lot of people. But it pisses me off for some reason. It is either 2am or 2 in the morning. Exception. If you say 2am this morning. It isn't as bad because you are now specifying which morning you are talking about. Ton of people seems to have an utter lack of spatial awareness and I negatively judge anyone who is that unaware. If you block an aisle with your cart, you're awful. If you stand in the middle of sidewalks or otherwise block the walking path, you're anathema to existence. If you drive super slow in the passing lane, or are one of those people who only seem to realize they're on a highway when they're being passed and then they speed up you need to die in a fire. I'm judging all of you oblivious ducks and wish you'd get a clue. Painted eyebrows. Their kids behavior in a public setting. Political bumper stickers. When they treat their pet like it's a human being. Dressing it up in clothes. Calling their dog dog thur instead of daughter. Using the word fur baby unironically. Yes. I know it's harmless. Yes. I know it doesn't affect me. No. I'll never stop judging people for it. Quality and placement of tattoos. How they behave towards service employees. Volume of conversational voice. I don't need to hear anything about a stranger's life in their conversation that is taking place 50 plus FT away from me. Use your inside voice. People who throw cigarettes butts out of the car window. When people pass off itty behavior as though it were some kind of personality tray. Like I'm always late. So you have identified the issue with yourself that is clearly an inconvenience to others but have no intention of trying to fix it? When they're needlessly rude and take pleasure in hurting people's feelings for no reason. When people are very proud about ignorance. My husband's cousin I've never read an entire book in my life. She said it very proudly. I don't even care what you read that's just ignorant. Not saying thank you when having a door held open for them. We had a guest speaker for a company trying to hire interns at my school and when I held the door open for her coming into class, she was completely silent. No smile or anything. That one tiny thing really gave me a bad impression of the entire company she was advertising. Spelling and grammar. How they talk and use words. Most importantly what they say. Oh god I am going to get hell for this. But wait. I work out and maintain a healthy weight. But I am by no means perfect. However, I often wonder how morbidly obese people get to their size. And how it is maintained. I feel I eat a lot. But cannot imagine what their daily intake looks like. How they park their car. You'd better be straight in. Eyelashes on cars. Also antlers. Reindeer noses. And those dead body in the trunk things around Halloween. Talking through concert shows. This happened to me yesterday at my sister's band concert. Family talked through the entire thing. One of them even took a phone call in the middle of a song. 
I feel physical pain when people are talking and nobody's paying attention. Given the fact that someone must be. Or ask the person to talk. Why do people do that? People who let their kids run and scream at places as restaurants and cafes. Not the ones specifically aimed at little kids of course. Let them scream and cry. Happy squeals also qualify. At weddings and concerts without stepping out. And are proud of it. I understand kids are hard sometimes. But that's the deal when you voluntarily decide to be a parent. There is a ton of places designed for children specifically. It shouldn't be that hard to get a sitter actually do some parenting when visiting an upscale restaurant once a month. And if you just hate people without kids and are enjoying to annoy them. No such people. Judge them too. Think about those other parents who are trying to have a nice evening out without kids and it's a precious time for them. Only to be annoyed by other kids tantrums. I talk to the parents at my job and believe me, they hate you too. Slow walkers who don't have an obvious disability and who are completely oblivious to their surroundings. If you're a slow walker to stays to the right and leaves plenty of space for people to get by you. Whatevs you do you. But if you walk in the middle of the ducking sidewalk hall I'll go fist yourself. Being mean to their dog or children in public. Putting feet on seats in public spaces, bus, coffee shop, whatever. I don't want to sit in whatever grime you've walked through. And I doubt too many other people do either. Leaving trash bags outside of your door to take care of later. Presumably it was gross enough for you not to leave in your living room. So why make other people look at it, especially since later usually turns into days. Would just take a minute to take down to the receptacle and be done with it. Choosing the bathroom stall right next to me in a whole line of stalls. Just why? If they are a smoker, I know I may get some hate for this. But I grew up with my dad smoking. I hated it. Never using a napkin. I know it's petty but, omg. I can't stand people that take too long to order. If you believe in astrology, I pretty much assume you aren't intelligent. When people say I seen instead of I saw. People who act holier than thou or obviously are only doing something for social virtue points. Case in point people who go around videotaping themselves helping out poor people or giving away gifts instead of just doing thankless charitable acts. Tattoos. I think it's hilarious how so many people have ended up looking like eternal fashion victims from the decade they got their tats done. People who say my hubby. I irrationally hate it. Thinking that essential oils more than modern medicine. Loose versus. Loose equals 10 IQ points. They are. There. Their usage equals 10 IQ points. Hash. Not washing their hands after using the restroom. I have a list of do not shake hands with friends and co-workers that I watched stroll right out of the stall and right out the door in public restrooms. How they eat. If you are sitting there with your mouth open looking like you just got out of jail shoveling food into your mouth while also talking to me, nope, we can't be friends. When people consistently ignore common courtesies for the own tiny convenience, x, people who leave their shopping cart in the middle of the parking lot instead of waking them 10 yards at most to one of those cart stalls. People that don't clean up after their dog, come on man, we all hate it. But it's your dog. Take responsibility. People who smoke in crowded places. It's like they don't care what others views on smoking are or if they want to breathe smoke at hat moment. Bragging about the dumbest things. Me. It took forever to find that restaurant. Pointless bragger. Really? I found it right away. I never get lost. Good for you. Confederate flag bumper stickers. How often they mention God. Oh. Thank God. I'll say a prayer. I guess I'll just let God decide. God works in mysterious ways. I'm not religious and it annoys me when people bring up God as casual conversation. They're likely relatively religious and therefore not really the type of person I click with. People who are casually cruel to their significant others. Especially in public. This person cares for you. Deeply and completely. They've dedicated no small part of their mind to loving you and magnifying you. Please stop calling them a moron in Starbucks. People who have good jobs and join a multi-level marketing scheme. 
Parents who have thick coats, scarves, gloves, earmuffs, and fuzzy boots on but their baby just has on a oni in weather where you can see your breath and it's calling for snow. People who let dogs lick their face. If someone is very opinionated about something they obviously don't know a lot of details about egg college football. The company I work at has lots of staff meetings in a large conference room. At the end, everyone just walks out and nobody pushes their chair back in. Turns an impressive room into mess. How they treat people they perceive as weaker than themselves. Those who treat them fairly are generally good people. Those who abuse them are generally pretty shady. People who pierce their infant's ears. It's a totally normal, legal thing to do, and even a cultural practice for some, that I have no right to judge. But I was brought up to believe it's trashy. If your truck is lifted, I think you know the rest. I don't like children, they get on my nerves. Okay, those little duckers are annoying as all hell. Duck people that take their kids out in public, not okay. When they talk good about someone on their face and gossip on their back. I don't like when people have those super small plastic cutting boards. Obese people at fast food places that are just giving their bad habits to their little gooey spawns. Childless people who elevate their pets to family member status. I judge people who can't stop talking and can't be alone. I think they're weak. When people don't put down their phones to talk to retail grocery food service workers put down your phone, make eye contact, say hello and how are you, may I, please, thank you, have a nice day, it's not hard, I've been very lucky and never had to work in a job dealing with the general public, we seem truly awful, truly. If you don't return the shopping cart to a corral or the front of the store, I assume you think you are more important than everyone else and probably a reality person overall.